Hi, Paper Crafters, Kim Ferguson. It is Mother's Day slash Father's Day Monday, meaning I have chosen to use some Father's Day pictures today for my layout using Google's choice of number 25, which is chalks. So I have discovered that this is like my favorite stencil right now. So I've used the wood grain for uh, foiling with my mink tools. Haven't used this. I've used this a couple times. I've used it for texture paste and now I've used it for chalks and I used the bricks for the Humpty. No, I didn't. I used this for the Humpty Dumpty layout. That's right. I haven't used the bricks, so I'll need to find something to use a brick pattern for. But anyway, I've discovered that this is my favorite lately and I used it with my deluxe chalks and I used, where are, I have a huge mess on my desk. I have the close to my heart uh, daubers, the sponge daubers. I used this to chalk the gray through the stencil to create a wall. Because if you look, and yes, there's pictures of my family from the back. <laughs> if you look, there's kind of a rock wall that they're, you know, leaning up against or standing by looking over the uh, park that's up in the hillside by us. So I wanted to mimic that. This is kind of that top stone wall that's on there. I didn't put the lines. I was kind of thinking about it, but rather chose to use this textured gray paper. And I edged distressed with my favorite slate exclusive ink. And I have this boys will be boys. I do not know what this is from. It was in my Father's Day Ziploc bag. And for Father's Day, yes, it's uh, my husband and my two sons and my grandson. And just a day at a, you know, a, nat um, a, a park. <laughs> what, what is the word I'm looking for? A national park, I guess. Uh, they were They were being themselves. You know, they were being boys out in the woods, having a good time. So on a Father's Day trip, out as a family they were being boys will be boys so thought that was perfect this is just us on a hike and i have to tell you that this is the spot you might recognize this if you think about it but this is the same area location where my son proposed to my daughter-in-law so this is actually the weekend after that so we all went and just kind of reminisced with them and they kind of told us a play-by-play -play of how the proposal went and fortunately, somebody drove up into this uh, pool out and took the picture of them. That's how we have that photo of their engagement day at the place where it happened. So anyway, just another good memory for a favorite spot that we go to. And again, this is just them walking out. And then this is the trail within the park. So let me remove everything. You can see how I've chalked this. So I just laid the stencil down in different ways and use that dauber to chalk on the stone wall, you know, and then this, I wanted something that looked like the gravel or pebbles on the turnaround there. And so I use this stamp set from close to my heart, line it up Cricut bundle. This came with the Cricut flower market collection. And it was this one here that I used and I just used my whisper to just do it in several patterns. And I'm okay that it missed in a few places because that's where my photos are gonna go anyway. And then I have some fern cardstock and I just ripped the edge off of a scrap piece of paper. So these had already been cut out for some trees I've used in the past. And I just ripped it and gave it that torn look. And then the part that I pulled off, I just turned it the, well, actually it's torn the other way. So I'm going to put that down here as if it were like weeds or plants that were growing up between the gravel driveway. Oops, excuse me, the, dra the gravel driveway and the stone wall. And then this is going to go ahead and be up here a little bit above the top of the stone wall. And I did cut it a little bit shorter because I wanted to have that gray showing. So anyway, this is my layout. Very simple, but, uh, you know, Ed's distressed with inks did chalking for the wall. I've also had to stress these and then I just have my three photos and I chose not to mat today. Okay, so let's put these down. I could have gone a little bit more elaborate with some, using some other embellishments, but it's been, you know, a busy work day and wanted to get on here and say I completed something. 
had a great weekend uh four days three nights staying at my mom's with my grandson and oh my goodness he just runs us wild but oh what a good time we had he brought along the game sorry and i thought that they had played it with them so i was excited to see how he played and what he understood about it but in fact he had not played it so we had to open the game it was brand new and i was excited to be the first one to play and teach him how to play sorry so my mom had to run an errand so it was just my little guy and i hanging out together and uh learning how to play the game of sorry and he loved it by the end of the weekend we had played three times he won twice my mom won once and i didn't win any <laughs> But you know what? That's, I'm going to rip this all up. That's pretty much the way things go with me. I just don't seem to have good luck, but I'm in it for the time spent anyway. So that's okay with me. And to know that we had a good time teaching him. And you know, the, the last final thing we were kind of working on while we were playing the last round was just working on that, the etiquette, you know, of playing games with other people and, good sportsmanship so he got the rules down and he understood what each card meant so then it was you know just how do you play games with other people and keep your composure right at the age of six <laughs> so it was just a great time and uh he also is beginning to read in his kindergarten books and learn his sight words so I had the pleasure of working with him on those as well. So just a great time had by all three of us. Came home exhausted, but that's the best kind of exhausted, isn't it? When we've been with our loved ones and enjoyed the time to the fullest. So that's what we did. I My son's face is showing a little bit more, so I did go ahead and cover that up. Okay, boys will be boys. Great title, simple to the point, but there is some technique on here. So I'm okay when the pages are as simple as this. And I've also used some of my supplies. So it's a combination of simple, but yet I use several products on this. And it's a page completed with photos and ready to go into my scrapbook. That's the huge win right there, is that I'm not just creating the layouts I'm also getting pictures done, which oh, I've needed to do. This is feeling so good. This process is working for me. I keep saying I'm probably going to change up my numbering system and my days of the week, but I just haven't done that yet. So, cause I don't know what I want to do yet. So, uh, you know, it may or may not change soon, but as long as I'm getting stuff done in the meantime, that's great. Whatever, whatever it takes to get something done with my pictures, I'll take it and I'll walk away satisfied. All right. I use this for my photos because it is acid free where I do get a cheaper brand of ATG and it isn't necessarily acid free. There's going to be a glare from the pictures, but hey, you get to see some pictures of my family. <laughs> yeah. We have a good time. We are together, that's for sure. Bunch of crazies, lots of shenanigans. It's my favorite word lately. Shenanigans. Because they're, they're always happening. All right, last photo. We will call this layout done, ready to go into the album. And you can see my techniques. I wonder if I want to move, I think I want to move this over though and kind of be more evenly spaced. If I can lift this one back up again without damaging the edge. Yeah, that worked perfectly. Let's move that over a little bit. There we go. I went through all the time of using that technique with the chalk it's kind of nice to be able to see it all the way around okay you guys there you go this is in order here this is my husband this is my grandson my oldest son and my youngest son 
So he just turned 29 last week and he will turn 27 this week. They are exactly two years and seven days apart. And this little guy is now six. <laughs> All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining me and my family for a Mother's Day slash Father's Day Monday. I appreciate you so much. And I will see you next time. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.